Welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to get the Ray K in Firebase C. So, but before we get into the video, I just wanted to tell you, show you guys, um, I got a comment on my stream that I did earlier today. Um, it was from Lazo, he is a, quite a frequent viewer on my streams and he asked how do you get Ethereum crystals uh, quickly. So I just wanted to show you here. If you go to skills, you have the raw Ethereum, the refined Ethereum, and then you have the flawless Ethereum. Once you have, uh, there's five tiers, once you have the first three tiers you upgrade with raw Ethereum, the fourth tier you upgrade with refined, and the last tier you upgrade with flawless. So, I just wanted to say, when you are upgrading uh, your everything, I recommend, the things I recommend upgrading first is getting your melee as high as possible, at least to level 3, so you unlock that bow enough, because it's really powerful. Uh, I recommend upgrading toxic growth if you're planning to uh, do like long rain, uh, long high round strats. Uh, healing aura if you're playing with teammates and stuff like that. Uh, Ring of fire and ether shroud are also really good for when you're playing solo. For the perks, just try and get them all ranked up. Uh, digital Daiquiri is really, really good. Stamina also extremely powerful. Uh, quick Revive is amazing. So if you get downed, you can kill an enemy while you're downed. If you have Quick Revive, it will revive you automatically. Um, I wouldn't worry about Tombstone and Elemental Pop. Those two I barely ever use. Um, so yeah. And uh, Ammo Mods, Cryo Freeze is the best one if you're trying to do camera challenges and headshots and stuff like that. Brain Rot's also really, really good. Um, so yeah, try and get those two ranked up. Deadwire and Napalm Shadow Boss aren't as powerful, but you can try those. The best way to get Ethereum Crystals that I found is to go into FireOSC, just like how I get my Plague Diamond and my uh, and all my Gordon Viper weapons. I go, I turn on the power and I go up into that General's office and I sit there and I camp basically the entire game until around 31 and then I go exfil, come back. It basically gives you so much crystals, you get so much. But I know if you go on to some other YouTubers' uh, live streams and videos and tutorials, they say play Outbreak. Outbreak is one really, really good way to get uh, to get a ton of crystals if you play for long enough and you go through a lot of things. I don't really like Outbreaks too long. To, it's quite hard. It's it's no, I don't, it's not the thing for me. But you guys might that might be different for you guys. So now I'm gonna get into the video. Thanks for watching. So there's two ways to, there's actually three ways to get the Ray K. Uh, the first way is to get it out of the box, which is plain and simple. Just hit the box a bunch of times until you get it. The later, the higher the round you are, the more likely you get it. But it's pretty rare to get. I've gotten it a few times. So that's enough. That's if you're trying to get it out of the box, um, rather there's many other methods are better. So the first thing you want to do once you turn on this reactor, you want to come down here, open this door, and grab this. Some sort of new energy weapon. You can grab that little for more blueprint. It is down in the village when they need. As you can hear, Captain Ravenov just said, if you go down, now you can go back through the teleporter. Go down, you can go pack a punch. You can access the uh, wonderfuls to get all the perks and stuff like that. And every basically everything you need is back down there. Um, but when you're trying to get the ray care. The easiest way to get it, and what I recommend everyone should be doing to getting it, is by doing trials. You start a trial, it gives you a mission, you do the mission, and then once the mission's done, you go start another trial, do that mission, keep going, keep going, until your reward says legendary. So don't don't collect your reward until the reward says legendary. Just keep doing trials until it's legendary, and then um, and then cr once it's legendary, go collect your reward, and it's like sixty percent of the time it's usually a ray K. sometimes you pack a punch weapon or something else but just keep doing them and uh, eventually you'll get a ray K. but to watch the but the easter egg the way to actually get the ray K, with the way the game is intended after you grab that blueprint you want to run grab the door back around here with that kind of camouflage, more of those creatures could be hiding in plain sight. Come back down here. 
over the wall. Come to this body. Oh, I can't march. You can start this little interaction. Don't worry, zombies cannot hurt you when you're doing this. You're perfectly fine. And also on the left of his body here. On the left of his body is some intel if you want to grab it. But once you do like a bunch of zombies you're going to spawn. So you might want to get out of here before you get overrun. Okay, try, try to do this quick. And scan. And basically scan the eyeball. Then it's going to drop and give you a, a key. Now with this key, what you're going to want to do... Just take the key, all the way over here, back this way, past the helicopter, and into the barracks area. Remember that key you found? I'd bet good money it's a locker key. Open this one. Nothing. Nothing. There, that whole... Mimic noise means the mimic has spawned. Now you're gonna wait for the mimic to come out. There it is. You wanna kill it. Now, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes the mimic can kill it or drop it. Looks like the that. business end of Cool Clay's energy rifle. See, now I'll go to first try. If you don't get it, if the mimic doesn't drop it, then go back, go into the barrel, open more until another mimic spawns. So I open these three. There's still one, two on that side. And in this barracks over here, there's still one, two, three, and then, yeah, so three and then five on that side. And eventually the one of the mimics will drop it. So if you don't get a first try, just keep opening lockers until another mimic spawns, kill it, and then see if you get another one. So once you got that p component, then that's basically it. Now, the next piece that you're going to need, if I... You can see here for the bottom right you see Ray K84. You need all you need left is a one little magazine part. That is gonna be the hardest piece to get. Because you need to be at round 15 and above to actually be able to access that piece. I'll make time for you so, all. On round 15 the manglers will start spawning. So now you're gonna want Preferably a weapon, an a, a, uh, actual gun. The mangler starts spawning, and then you want to shoot a mangler in the arm, in its like little, uh, in its blaster. And when it eventually dies, there's, it should, sometimes it doesn't always, but it should drop a, a magazine, also glowing gold. So you want to pick that up. If it doesn't, then kill another mangler, make sure you're shooting its arm, and hopefully it does it. Pretty straight simple. Then you want to take that magazine, which I will... I'll uh, show you when I get to round 15 I actually get it. I'll show you what to do with it. Sorry you messed with us, aren't you? Okay, so while you're trying to get to round 15 to, un to get the actual magazine part, this dark wall is going to become really important. So what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to get an ordinary actual shooting weapon. So I'm just going to buy one for one here. It, isn't a it can be any weapon, uh, preferably a single fire one, so a pistol, sniper rifle, uh, or it can be a assault rifle if you tap fire it. Um, but you make just make sure you you are able to only shoot one bullet at a time. It could be a attack rifle or anything. And then you want to come over here. 
back over to this thing. And you might have noticed when you picked up that key that the computer actually said use computer. So I'm gonna start this. Now you're gonna watch it. See you're gonna stop, you're gonna watch where it stops. Wait a few seconds. Watch where it stops. Remember where it stops. So once you've figured it out, you're gonna, you're gonna shoot them. Enemy is down. See, I got a rock. Then it's gonna drop this. Gonna, the thing's gonna open up, it's gonna drop on the floor. Oh, they certainly up. hit that Ethereum converter well. I suppose you'd have to, in a KGB base. You can stab me in the arm door. We doesn't have an arm though, he does a run at you. There you go, and he did not drop it this time. Oh no, when I broke his arm he did. So there you go, uncharged power cell. Oh, keep those power cells. They look like you the Ethereum you're building. But they'll need a bit of a charge. You're gonna take your power cell and you're gonna put it in that little box there. And now you're gonna wanna go through two whole rounds. You basically just wanna survive them in this video. I'm taking I'm your plan. This is all right. Okay, so now basically, now we're gonna have to just survive with two entire rounds and then when we come back, it will be fully charged and then we can board our Reiko. Here it is, fully charged. Good to go. Now you, all you have to do is run up here, crack your fingers, and you've got a Reiko. I'm really not too keen on guns, but I'm honestly dying to see what this one can do. So that's basically how you build the Reiko. And the other way to get the Reiko is obviously, as I said before, to go up to trials, do a bunch of trials. That's probably the easiest way. I don't recommend doing this way because you have to wait for round 15. So that will be the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see this kind of video of me doing tutorials, then please comment down below what you want to see. I'll, I'll bring it, I'll record it, everything. I am making a settings video that I'm editing and I should be posting soon. Um, so be ready for that. And I'm, manning, I'm planning to do a video on an alt account. And I'm also planning to do a video on on a spectating solos. Um, I'm probably going to do on a regular solos and maybe a rebirth. So if you guys want to see that, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.